Hello. Hey, Pika. How are you doing today? All right, let me finish getting this set up here. Oh, my camera's all off. I'm all over the place. I was like, which way does it go? This way? There we go. I was messing with my camera placement earlier. I'm debating moving it to my other monitor, and I think I will at some point, but the way that my uh, desk, my monitors are positioned, my left monitor actually points like to this side of my room. So it's like neither one is straight on. Oh, thanks, Pika. I, I went outdoors today. And so I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, do my makeup. And then I was like, now what do I do? Just take it all off? <laughs> I was like, I guess I'll stream. Do we have the same glasses? Where did I get these from? I got these from Lens Crafters. If uh, this helps at all. I can't tell if the camera is in focus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do we do the YouTube thing? There we go. Does that work? Is it in focus? I can't tell. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. Um, I'm a little bit discombobulated right now. Um, by normally when I start up a stream, right, I have everything ready to go and I'm like just waiting. I'm just like sitting here, like waiting for the timer, you know? Today, uh, I sat down and I was like, I, I need to stream. And if I don't hit online, I'm never going to, if I don't hit start streaming, I'm never going to actually start. And so what I did was I just went for it and it was like, all right, now I'll get everything launched. And, and I was like, wait a minute, my desk is filthy and I can't, I can't work like this. And so then in the five minutes, it was like, how much shit can I put in drawers, uh, before the timer runs out? Um, did, did, did okay. Did all right. Desk is moderately clean. It's, I can deal with it. Let's get this game up. There we go. They're quite similar. I like these a lot. Um, they're, I, they're fine. They're the, the widest, like tallest frames that I've ever had. Uh, which is just good for my field of vision, I guess. I don't get tired of this menu music. I'm gonna turn that up in my headphones a little bit. And maybe I'll charge my phone. See, this is all the stuff that I normally, like, would have been doing long in advance. All right, we're ready to go. Phone's charging. My phone only lasts about an hour now, so <laughs> I have to plug it in whenever I'm sitting. Oh, we've got a guest here. We have Harvey. Hold on. Before we actually start the game, let's greet Harvey. Hey. Aw, hey, bud. Good yawn. What a good yawn. He likes when I make the bed. <laughs> Yeah, he just chilling. He hanging out. You good boy? Are you gonna scream later? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna scream later. Okay. Alright, back to the game. Now we can actually get started. Okay. Oh, I have an itch. Oh, I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Pika, how are you? You kick your cat out when you stream? I sometimes do. Sometimes I'll just lock him out because I know he's going to be a pain. Your, your uh, desk is messy so you can relate. It's just, it's so easy to let your desk just accumulate things. Like, my desk now, um, it's hard to show you because I'd have to move the camera and everything, but my desk has a second level on it that the monitors stand on, which basically means that I have a shelf just for stuff. Uh, and so it just like, suddenly it's like, oh, well, I'll just put my eyeshadow palette there. Oh, I'll put this other thing there. Oh, there's my switch. <laughs> Pyro, thanks for that lurk. I hope you're having a good stream. Uh, okay. Have to remember all the controls. Square is the, the button to do stuff. All right, no one's talking to us. We could play more Demon Tower, but I don't think I'm going to. It's almost 2 a.m. where you are. Oh, damn. That is late. I could play some bass, but which song? Is there a new one? 
I think we've played all of these, and I... Nah, later. Maybe. Uh, if I recall, where we left off, we were gonna go to band practice next. Let's see if dad moved those boxes. Oh, wait, shit, he did. Fuck, I did that thing again. I always hit the wrong direction when I enter a space. There we go. What's in here? What a cool crawl space. Huh, an old safe. How am I gonna open this thing? Dynamite? No. All right, we're gonna find a combination for this. Or we're gonna knock down the whole house. Either way, I'm cool with it. Is there anything else in here? Guess not. Uh, stretch. Uh, I'm so stiff. Just... Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't ya? Hey, UK Gaming! How you doing? Welcome in. Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Thanks for that follow, UK Gaming. I appreciate it. Do you prefer U UK Gaming or just UK? Do you have any preference for your name? Hey, hon, yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of the last... of the... I don't want a repeat of a few years ago. Mostly UK? You got it. I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, May. You okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed, too. I saw some weird stuff last night. Or I think I did. Do you want to talk about it? Later. I'm still putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Uh, we still have the... Is there anything else we can say? So what are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Jeez, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Uh, let's not get... Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to uh, get you off to school, we took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Oh no. Oh no, I think I see where this is going. You'll be around, um, get some rest, and have a good stream, thank you. Have a, have a good rest. I appreciate you stopping by and thanks again for that follow. Take it easy. Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal and I, sh I feel so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us and now they, uh, now they own the house. We owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have this house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie, don't worry. What you reading? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? All right. So before we get too far away, the uh, the mom here just let us know that the family went into to a huge debt to pay for damages that we caused back in high school. And then, so that we could go to college, they took out a predatory uh, predatory loan um, against their house and can't pay it off, and now they're going to lose their house. Like, wow. Oh, we must feel like a piece of shit. 
Is there an ending for this game? Yeah, it's a, it's a story-based game, so there's gonna be an ending, for sure. Yeah, I wanna hear about this, this uh, mystery teaser. All right, there's a man lying dead in a kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. You should have been a detective. Yeah, I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. What else is in the room? What kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? Hmm. Um. What else is in the room? Normal stuff. Refrigerator, microwave, silverware. Knives? No knife wounds, though. Oh, right. <laughs> Sus. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet into the guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then uh, the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet through the dude's head. Ha! That's why he has blood on one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a, p uh, a pic of Aunt Dottie. <laughs> oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make uh, quite a pair of investigators. Could open up a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter detective. You too, inspector mom. Aw, that was nice. I'm glad that we made up because it's very easy to let those types of arguments just kind of, you know, just simmer and get worse. All right, so we were going to band practice, so I guess we should go back to the convenience store with Greg. We do have a... I thought we had, like, a, a task list, but... Ah, no, I don't want to change my resolution. Ah, just let me go back. Okay. <laughs> the buttons are all in a different position. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. Happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will, I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. We can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Yeah, let's let's go into the old pickaxe. All right, it's square to go into buildings. Got to remember that. Hey, bae. Hey, bae. Uh-huh. Thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got like really weird and bad after. How so? I'll tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's probably at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. <laughs> whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Greg, we're coming for ya.
You up for band practice in a bit? I guess, weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Oh, all right. That's all we're gonna say to them. Give a cat a treat. Oh my God, he's gonna be so excited. He's gonna be so excited. Hold on. How do I actually just like, I'll, whatever, I'll just do that. All right, it's full screen. Just you wait. Just, I'm gonna do this very slowly. Gonna go grab the treats because he's gonna freak out. I'm gonna give him the grass because he loves the grass. Come back up. Come back up. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, he loves he loves this stuff. He goes nuts for it. Yeah, yeah, they really like it. Um it helps like clear their digestive system or something, but they like it it triggers something in them similar to catnip. They just go crazy. It's so excited. Yeah. All that. Get another good chunk in there. But it's good for the pet redeems because then I don't have to like worry about giving him too many treats. There you go. One more good chunk. Yeah, good boy. I'll keep the grass nearby. Good boy. He'll he'll come back. He'll be back in just a minute. He's just got to come to terms with not having the grass. Your cat follows you to the toilet every time there's no personal space. Harvey will scream at the door. Um he will just stand outside the bathroom door and yell at the top of his lungs until someone lets him in. Yeah, I'm talking about you. He's like, he's looking at the grass on my desk and he's like, how do I get up there? Come on, come up here. Come back up. He'll come back. He'll be fine. He is a good boy. He's a very good boy. Whoa. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Man. This does, like, this game feels very relatable in a lot of ways, like, moving away from home and then visiting again and having everything be kind of different or, or the same, but it just doesn't feel the same, you know? It's very... Uh... It's very weird. This game is, I don't know, more relatable than I expected it to be. Does my cat like snuggling or cuddling? Uh, not really. Um, he hates being held. Uh, sometimes he'll sit near me, and that's kind of the best you can expect. Um, like, he, he wants to be in the same room with you, but he doesn't want to be, like, on, on you. Uh, he won't sit on my lap or anything like that. My other cat, Ellie, if she's, like, hungry or in a in, in, like, a very specific mood, she'll come over and, like, hop up on my lap and, like, rub her face all over my face. Um... And it's like, it's super cute. And then she'll like snuggle in and lay down for like 10 or 15 minutes. And that happens like once a week. <laughs> the rest of the time, she doesn't want to be bothered. Sup, dude? Uh, uh, long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you a band practice. Cool. What you up to? We gonna head out to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Same here. Your cat's not that social. 
I live in with two cats. I yeah, so my cat is Ellie, uh, and then my partner's cat is Harvey. Um, so yeah, but only Ellie is like technically my cat. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. That goes out to the roof. And now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down to the lobby. Up to the roof. And pee off the side of the building? Yep, yeah, may maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Air, ready to go? Yeah, let's do this. That's cute. You hope your future partner loves cats too. Yeah, I I feel like it would be really difficult for me to date someone who doesn't like cats because I just I love my cat and I'm always gonna have cats. Like my goal is to have like like three cats, three like realistically three. I would say six, but three is is the real number. I could I could have one more cat. I just I want enough cats that no matter what room I'm in, there is a cat in there. Right now, that's not always true. Sometimes I'm alone, but I want a cat with me at all times. Oh God, this is so hard. What? Oh my God. <laughs> the triangle. Oh, how, how do you do this? I don't know how to t how to hit the uh, triangle and the s and X at the same time. <laughs> All right, sorry about your ears, y'all. Oh, I don't know if I can do this one. This one sucks. Oh, I did the other one so well. Sorry, I'll read your message in a minute. Uh. What? No. <laughs> what? Oh, dude. I don't know if I can do this one. That was awful. That was awful. That was, yeah, that was really hard. Because, like, the other ones, um, all of the buttons that, that it has for the really close notes are, like, X and O. For on a PS4 controller, by the way, or O and triangle. And like, that's not bad because you can press both buttons at once, but I can't do that with the triangle and the X. That's, I'm like upset. I'm like annoyed that I did so poorly on that, but that's okay. It's fine. It's no biggie. It's just a game. Um, uh, talking about life partner, you went to the supermarket the other day looking for a boyfriend because <laughs> you were so bored of being the boss ass, ass bitch doing hot girl shit. <laughs> That's like pro, pro level there though. Mission failed, but you got spicy noodles. I mean, I, this, I, this, the spicy noodles are pretty damn good though, right? Like, uh, it's a toss up. Can I do it again? Yeah, I'll be able to do it again in the back at home. So like at the start of the next day, I'll be able to try it again. Um, wow, May, that was uh, pretty bad is what it was. I literally do not know this song. Whew, so fast. You just pushed a button. I'm so tired. I strain my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm gonna sound so husky. And anyway, 
I don't know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid, and I also think it was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something because this is scary. So to uh, clarify that for anyone who, who wasn't here for the last dream, at the very end of the day, we witnessed a kidnapping, but we don't know if it was like real or if it was a ghost or whatever. We, we couldn't catch up with them. Um, so that's what May is talking about right now. Ugh. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. You okay, dude? Yeah, I'm okay. Not like losing it or something. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. All right, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, dudes. 2 a.m., gotta go to bed. Have a good stream, see you later. Thank you so much for stopping by, Pika. It's always nice to see you. I hope that your next shopping trip goes a little better. <laughs> I like that descriptor, though. I like that, uh, that was funny. But have a good night. I <laughs> hope so, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard right now, right? Because it's like with COVID, you can't just like go to a bar or go to like social events to try to meet people. It's it's rough. It's rough right now. Good luck. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghost ghosty stuff happening around here, like from a source we can trust. Such as, does the newspaper have a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper on file going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it here. Find it there, probably. Oh, wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when. Uh, yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Woohoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. The library. I got a, a library card for my town a couple months ago, and I'd been living here for a few years and never gone. And then uh, when I went by, I found out they had a ton of video games, <laughs> like a ton um, for Switch, for Xbox and PlayStation. They had like everything. Um, so now every, every now and again, I'll go and sign out a game that I'm thinking about buying and just try it out. And there's already been, like, a couple of games. So I was like, you know what? Nah. I don't need this game. I don't have to go and spend 40 bucks on it now. Thanks, library! <laughs> look, jobs. Weird, like, when it was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals. After someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forgot that we live in separate realities. Uh, mine's clearly better. Ooh. Hello. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Micro... Fish? Micro... I don't know how to say that. I have no idea. Microfiche. Third floor. Up, up, up. I swear, I need to have, like, uh, the, what is it? It's like the Google dictionary or something up that I can just plug a word into and then hear it. <laughs> I should probably actually start doing that. And maybe it'll be something that I'll just, like, mute the source. 
So, uh, I can just look it up real quick. It's not a bad idea. I might do something like that. I want to expand my vocabulary. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience. Mining, construction, well drilling. Never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50 is not really old. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be, like, guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. Not wrong. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Maybe we will. Maybe. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school being five freaking years old. All right. So this is a thing you liked as a kid. No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... It was like you were kidnapped by a cult. And when they were like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and a magic mask that's not a okay yeah go on instead of that it was this effing punk nightmare you were scared of it no i was bored to death it was talking forever about like being kind to others and like i i don't know helping an old neighbor do engine repair that sounds nice. Charity Barity helps Mr. <laughs> Mr. Blanco fix his hovercraft. Ah, uh, no, that's the worst part of it. It always rhymed. Charity Barity, pink nightmarity. <laughs> Charity Barity, I just don't carity. <laughs> uh, okay. What do we miss? What do we miss? Oh, we have to go up to the third floor. I, I bet we're not on the third floor. Going up. I didn't realize it would stop us at every floor. Oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was. He walked through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh right, well that's even more impressive. So we're gonna find this guy because he took someone. And he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Let's see, is there anything in here that we can snoop through? All right, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea was to at least do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aw. We friends, Beatrice? Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Bay, Bay is so nice to us. First I thought that she was too mean, but now I'm like, she puts up with a lot. <laughs> Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow, jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. How do we do this? Uh, Step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghosts. Sure. 
Tragedy at the mine. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, it's, it's so bright. Ah, uh, this is interesting, but yeah, not exactly about a ghost. Okay, so we should we should skim these about ghosts. No ghost to be found here. The way you say ghost sounds like you don't believe me. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Ooh, we got a nice little a success ding. Hey, look at this. Ah, huh, yeah. This looks like Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooden overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure walked from the edge of the cliff out into the open air then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having left from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up the state forest hills, Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful views. Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Yeah, okay, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. Uh, there's actually probably only a mile or so from Miss Miranda's house back up the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements or corpse husbands. Co-signed. Let's see. Parents, please be sure your daughters are not participating in the new trend of skirts showing ankles. I don't think we need to remind you which road of brimstone is temporary fashion. This temporary fashion trend will lead your dear daughters down. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, the final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered two days shy of a one-year anniversary of the tragedy. These five men bring the total of dead to 112. No ghosts! I wish I could zoom out a little bit. Ghostly rumors? Ah! Hey, hey, hey! Ghosts spotted. The Possum Springs Historical Society conversion of Strygeist house into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Newsom has resigned cutting strange occurrence, uh, occurrences in the old manor. I'll be there for hours doing my work. I'd hear someone walking around trying doorknobs. Came out to see he was fooling but there was never nobody there. Uh, trying to get this map uh, room operational for all the children while I'm looking over my shoulder to expect to see God knows what. Uh, Mr. Newsom had previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building, but even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go to the off-limit areas anymore, I don't go up past the second floor, and then I only go to the office. I know the others laugh, they say I'm seeing little Joe or something, but they... Uh, can all go spit. Little Joe for uh, uh, Uninitiated was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Spring Historical Society has refused to comment on the claims at this time. Ghost spotted! Historical Society? Yeah, I've never been. Uh, you didn't go back in school? I think it was when I was, uh, wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Uh, used to be owned by one of the owners in the mine or something? Railroad? Mine? Steel mill? Something like that. An actual haunted house? Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and craft programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. If you insist. We got a strike there. Underground gases afflict many. Nope, no ghosts. A number of sightings of the albino groundhog. Local ghost Little Joe at it again. 
Oh, look. Um. Uh, Scooch, so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like an actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't uh, stay, history that won't stay history. That's actually pretty good. All right, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Uh, no, let's look around at more stuff. There might be, I bet there's more that we haven't even looked at. Awesome massacre. Oh, this is so hard to look at. I'm sorry it's so bright. <laughs> oh wow, this is gnarly and awesome. Oh my god. Oh, we removed all of his teeth with pliers. Oh, no thanks. No thank you. Uh, I don't believe that there isn't another one. We already did this one. Maybe not. Maybe there isn't. Nope. No ghosts. Let's just see if I missed anything by just clicking on a couple. So we got that one. Alright, how do I just get out? Oh, there we go. Alright, I was like, how do I get out of this out of this menu? So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, no, regardless, but do you? Nope. No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I don't choose to be born into this society. All right. Uh, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can drive you around to all these... I can't drive you around to all these spots. Uh, I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyways. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other tool. You know, like, probably don't have to say this, but... Just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever heard of history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh my freaking god. The bay is just, like, so done with us. Ahem. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh, wow. I haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. Uh, she, But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow. I never realized. I think they pair her bits of string and empty soda cans. Uh, thank you all for coming to this second meeting of Possum Brings Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Uh, I don't really want to read poetry, but I... Mm, mm, Alright, let's see, let's, let's see what it is. 
Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones. I will start off with one of my own. They don't actually pay her in string, right? <laughs> yes, May, they literally pay her in string. <laughs> I was just joking. Right. Ahem. Letter to my worst student. Oh no, to my worst student, the subject of my stories. I tell friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry, at the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Is that legal? What? Talking about details about your students like that? She didn't name names. Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, no full names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi folks, thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime, but neither, uh, neither do you know paths I've trugged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frogs swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibie? <laughs> That's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. That's all for tonight, everyone. See you in two weeks. All are welcome to join us at Donut Wolf. Donut Wolf! We're going home, May. Aww. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so, find out anything about your ghosts? Yeah, tell him, bae. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can check out. Uh, I have to work and stuff? Yeah, Greg and I also have to work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What place, uh, what places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. There's an illegal one? Sure is, the historical society. You know you don't have to break in. The people there like to get paid uh, to show it to you. Anyways, I'm in for historical society. Awesome. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And I'm also scared to death. <laughs> but mostly excited. <laughs> All right, May. Hey, Dad. Uh, yeah, seems like that's going around. The UG. Yeppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We are. Just a bump. You two, always two alike, I guess. You got your chill. I got her. I got your chill and her smart assness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. We're having money problems. What? No, we're fine. Dad, May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm twenty. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Hmm. Either he's in denial or he doesn't know. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. It's been a long couple days. Alright, so now we have the opportunity to try this again. Where where would it go? Space Dragon. Weird Autumn. TikTok. I think that was it. Oh. 
pumpkin head guy is new too. There's a couple new ones. All right. I'm really sorry in advance if this sucks. Uh, the other ones were easy and then they just raised the difficulty bar. Ah, yes, TikTok. That terrible charity barity song about telling time. Punched up the lyrics a bit with Greg back in high school. Let's see if I can remember all the words. Oh, okay, so we haven't done this one. Oh, they, they're definitely making these harder. This one isn't as bad as that one from band practice. Oh, God. I feel like the game... Oh, the game knew that I was feeling confident about the other ones, and so it was like, you know what? Let's make them harder and just make sure that they don't get too confident. I think that was the game. This rhythm makes no sense to me either. <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> awful oh my god yikes okay don't know this. all right uh that's fine it's fine everything's fine it's fine it's fine uh, oh who are you hey may let me know when you want to go to the park i looked up a map and it's a pretty straight shot from possum jump oh great we never really get a chance to hang out it'll be fun i think okay i'm going to sleep good night sir hips hat Yo, I looked up the Historical Society on the internet. It's really old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? Uh, I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, Bay. Don't think. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyways, and it's like right down the road. You're running this. Oh, in that case, you are incredibly welcome. And also, this better not. Uh, you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just. It's fine. Wait, did you all sleep? <laughs> Hello.
Uh, I don't want it. I don't want to do the other song. Time for bed. Let's go to bed. That's cool. We're gonna get to like pick which person we go check out first. That's cool. Is exciting. Ooh, we got a fun spooky dream. Ooh, a fish! I like the fish, that's cool. Oh, okay. Keep going. Up we go. Found one. Alright, which way do we go? Let's go this way. Where are we gonna land? <laughs> we lucked into that one. Oh, we found the edge. That looks like Greg. I bet we have to go up these. Let's go, let's go. Fish! Oh my god, fish! And this is how we got here. We've been we've done this before. So where would the last one be? Let's try it this way. Hmm. I don't feel like jumping down is the correct course of action. We haven't seen any of these street lights in a minute. Oh, down here. Okay, I saw the light indicator. They're like, you're taking too long. We'll just point you in the right direction. Spooky woods. Hey fish, can you drop me off? Give me a lift. Perfect. I like these little dream areas. over this way, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Wait, shit. Where was it? Fuck. Uh, fuck. Was it down here? 
Oh, crap. I fucked up. There it is. Oh, shit. No. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just go back around. I knew it was up, but... Oh. Damn it. Damn it. And if you're watching the VOD, you can skip ahead to... 5 minutes and 15 seconds to skip where I just endlessly walk in circles. There we go. Got it. Made it. Oh boy. I'm curious to find out what that bird is in the dream. Wake up, May. May, do you own any other shirts? All right. Away message. Planets are not able to be pitied. They cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin. Last night inspired me. For the longest night, I'm getting you uh, from a library card. You're welcome. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash out whatever's in the cooler. With whatever's in the cooler. Alright. Who should we go hang out with first? I kind of want to do either the historical society or the graveyard. Or no, not not the historical society. The park. Either the park or the graveyard. I feel like we should do the park first. I'm interested in the park. All right, May. We got adventures. To go on. I like this three jump extra. I go to the video store. Like the three step jump. Jump, jump. Video outpost. Let's do it. Let's go to the park. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Yeah. I'm excited. You sure? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Yeah, I guess. I've been hanging out with Greg so much. It'll be nice to actually get to know you a little bit better. I'm pretty great. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think you saw the guy- So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up to me and saying hello, and me saying, hey, I verified that you're a dead person. Could be a zombie or Frankenstein. Okay, maybe if they're made out of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode is brought of ghosty stuff is brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to ghosty stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts, and believe this is- and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. I- I used to listen to true crime podcasts a lot. I haven't so much these days. But never, like, supernatural stuff. Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit with, in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Oh, jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's head. Oh, we stopped after the frisbee. I 
I like that Angus doesn't just follow us. Posted, do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods, like, socialize with the woods, I guess. There's some folks living up here in cabins. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit, uh, we'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. And we're off. Jump, jump, jump. Angus, hurry up, you're falling behind. Can I interact with this? Nope, can't keep going. Up we go. Angus, you're so slow! I should go back for Angus. He'll go- he'd go back for me. And he's gone. Was he kidnapped? <sighs> you alright? Yeah, I got asthma, it's so all. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I save that for emergencies. Being slow is in an emergency. What is this thing? It's like a lime kiln, I think. Limes? Limestone. <laughs> you like do something with it in there and it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point? No way. I mean, rocks don't lie. Uh, like, right where we're standing, there were, like, ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. I've got exercise-induced asthma. It's not fun. Whew. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. So if this place was underwater, why aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know, there might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because so because things are so boring nowadays to think that all this crazy stuff was going on here. There's actually more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. We're almost there. You got this, Angus. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang on for a minute. I should know all about stuff like ancient sea creature, rock or whatever. Lime. Stone. I was gonna take some classes on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. I remember in college classes filling up was like the worst the absolute worst um if you didn't have 
internet, like right when classes went live, you would just not get into anything. Uh, if you waited like a day or two, you would just have to pick like the one or two classes that were left. It was awful. It was so competitive. And then like there would be one class that you like really wanted to get into anyways. And so what you would have to do is make it work in your schedule that you show up on the first day um, and just hope that someone drops the class or doesn't show up and then you can take their spot. But sometimes like depending on the type of class, you would have to wait for the second week to try to do that. And it was just like, what if you have a different class that is required and it's at that same time slot, then you just like can't do that and you have to gamble with which class you show up to. Whew, such a pain. Uh, thank you so much for that follow. Just a ray, uh, just a ray of trans sunshine. Nice. How are you doing today? If you want to engage in chat, no pressure. Uh, that was a hike. That was a lot easier than when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Hello! How are you doing? Weird, used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Uh, do you have a preferred... Uh, abbreviation for your name like uh, Sunshine does that work? Graves, huh? Yeah, these were, I forget they were involved in the Possum Massacre that's like labor strike thing where it was like Miners versus National Guard happened back in town like a hundred years ago why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys and some of the miners uh, didn't want them to be buried in town. Oh, huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. Fallen into your trap card. Sunshine's fine. Okay, cool. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones! Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. It's a cool spot. Are we gonna see any ghosts? Wow, we're up really high and really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind uh, whatever ridge that is. So what, we're just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess, we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Do, do, do. Nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're actually really nice up here. I wish I knew constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and stories and stuff. I wish. I can't remember any uh, any of them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time that we were all at that longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together and you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You tell me about them. All right, then. Sunshine, are you a fan of this game? All right, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Uh, whichever. Okay, let's see. Oh, we get to like make make constellations. Oh, cute. Oh, there's so so many stars. Okay. All right, can we make a cat? That is the most important question. Is there a way that we can make a cat? I don't know. 
if we can. How does this work? There we go, okay. Can this be the tail? Is that the limit? Is four the limit? No, it's not, okay. Okay, so maybe not all of them can be used for a constellation. Uh huh. What am I? What am I missing? I don't want to save and quit. What if I just connect these two? There we go. Oh, okay, got it. All right, so there are preset ones. We can't do whatever we want. Okay. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. At least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside the church. Oh, we never went there. Uh, did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. All right, we got one. Let's see. Let's take this one all the way in the corner. I bet this one's gonna be like a zigzaggy one. Nope, apparently not. Okay, okay. Okay. Ah, all right, all right. D and I think they all create circles, okay. A whale, it's a whale! And it's got like the world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. This is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. But what's the whale swimming in? Space! I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. This reminds me of that Doctor Who episode where there's like a space whale and people built a city on its back. Did anyone see that? Is this just this little one? A bell! Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Oh, that's, uh... I know this one... A little from, like, prog rock album covers. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at, uh, looking at you. Well, crap. It's high up enough that it's always kind of looking at all of us, right? God damn.
It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him, and he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah, my granddad used to tell me about Adina's sto uh, tell me about the Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Liked shiny things, was good at getting through the forest, was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from the king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess so. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So do you believe in ghosts at all? Nah, I don't believe in ghosts or God or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I ever told you or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Uh, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. And, like, uh, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot, and my mom was probably worse. So she, like, wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. She'd, like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door pretty hard. All the stuff would fall on the shelves, from the shelves on top of me. My god, Angus, I didn't know all that. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for, like, a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So I'd, like, try to develop psychic powers so I could, like, signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I, like, started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like, this was something bad I was doing. Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question. Can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I uh, still have to visit her sometimes. Uh, I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. Ha! Ha, well. I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or... No. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyways, yeah. No ghosts or god. So, like, I feel like if I had been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in god or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Uh, well, so, like, the constellations, I don't believe that there's a whale out there. But I do believe that the stars exist, and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through space between stars. Like, we're pattern finders, and we'll find patterns. Like, we really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that does care- that doesn't care. And people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but they like, uh, but like God found them. Like when they were having bad times, like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us, but this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. 
but I'm no more than anyone else. Wow, that was so... that was so touching. That was really cool that Angus opened up to us like that. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. <gasps> In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost. More worried about us being a living- I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May, no. I saw you! Okay, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In, out. All right. Roar! What, we're just, we're not, we're not gonna talk? We're not gonna, like, try to get a better look or anything? Angus, don't die. Angus, use your inhaler. You're supposed to use it 10 to 15 minutes before vigorous exercise. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa, I wasn't expecting it to chase after us like that. <sighs> you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or, uh, Oh, some weirdo who lives out there. Probably got lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party uh, we went to, where you threw up. Ugh. Oh, that wasn't too far from there. Ugh. Why does no one believe me? May, it's like, every other explanation is more likely than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was. Ang so what, does Angus think that it was a ghost, or does Angus still think it was a person? We don't know yet. What's happening? Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I'm sore tonight. I need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy? I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job didn't require, like, uh, much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, he did. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what the hell? Put him on. Okay. Hey, May, this is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird, but there are folks up, uh, folks that live up there in the park, and there, uh, there are hunting camps and stuff. So it was most likely a guy out hunting buck, or, uh, hunting buck early. Dude, I, I, I like feel it. I know, I know, I know. I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. Can you put Greg back on? Hey, hey, dude. I'm an artiste. You were doing art just now? Sure was. Alright, off to bed. Night, dude.
Hey, May, this is Greg. You and Angus are talking on my computer. Oh, hey, I'm Angus. I'm so smart. I have a great ass. Blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in paint program. <laughs> it's a dick with his hat on it and a smiley face. I don't know what it even means. Look, you two are wrapping up. Looks like you two are wrapping out. Peace out, yo. Hey, May, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can attest that that picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> hey, Bay, you awake? I very much am. Doing pills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? I went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did. Wow, okay, hold on. I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is annoyingly stringent atheist. <laughs> he doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. Sorry, for what it's worth, I, do, um, I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, I learned a lot about Angus. He's had kind of a rough life. Oh, yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how did you, how did you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since, like, 8th grade. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, you're like, uh, you're like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. He and Greg don't hang, um, me and Greg don't hang out. Hmm, Angus is good. He is. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. Talk to you later. Cool. Bedtime? Yes. We're gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna have a very quick... Oh. Right, we got another dream sequence. Oh, shit. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna put on a BRB screen real quick. I have to stir um, my crock pot. I'll be right back. And we're back. I've got some apple butter that I've started making and it's been going for a couple hours. It's got a couple more hours to go before I stick it in a blender. Uh, and then either it'll be done or it'll need a little bit more time, but we'll see. going on? Where are we going? May, what, what are you doing? It's pretty. Oh, 
Oh shit, what did that say? I was trying to jump and it skipped the message. Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you God? No. Oh. So. Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I'm God. And I'm asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this god. And this god is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then and here now. And there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... The great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I'm showing you now. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you uh and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I'm tired of speaking with little creatures, and I'm tired of speaking of God. Okay? I'll tell you a second thing. There's a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars, I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are a monstrous existence. Why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten, goodbye, little creature. Weird. That was weird. Weird and spooky. <laughs> Wake up, May. That was, that was a crazy dream. I wonder if that means that we can only do one more of these trips. What's up, what's up Angus? Away message. Hey, dude. At the old snack, snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. I want to go to the uh, graveyard next, though. Morning at the pickaxe if you're down uh, in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Are there any new songs here?
There's the pumpkin head one, but like... I really don't want to do it. <laughs> it was not fun last time. Those new ones were really tough. When I was driving today, I saw so many raccoons as roadkill. I was like, oh my god. I saw like three of them in like this one area. I felt so bad. Uh, oh, we passed it. We don't want to go to the video outpost. We want to go to the pickaxe. Hey, bae. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Ugh, what are you up to today? Wandering around town. Whatever you wanna do. It's cool and busy. And Greg and Angus have my car tonight. So I'm stuck home anyways. Oh, okay. See what they're up to, maybe? They're going somewhere or other. I'm not. Oh, uh, what are you up to? Oh, okay. We already... Wandering around town. Have fun! So we can't go to the graveyard today. <laughs> Sorry, pigeon! <laughs> I feel like I just... Murdered it. Flew off, but... Kit Kat! All right, yeah, let's go with the falcon. All right, ah, I did it again. <laughs> God damn it. Open the door, go to the right. Whew. All right, Greg, hello. Sup, duder. Hey, how you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I saw some space bugs. No, not space bugs, like, not bugs, and not in space. Like things beyond bugs, in some place beyond space. I fell on the sleep watching Judge <laughs> Judge Cad Kathy. Oh, awesome. She's the best. She really is. She takes no crap. Oh, boy, you ain't lying. So what's up? You want to hang out? Yeah, man, let's roll. Oh, so maybe we don't get to go to the graveyard anymore. Maybe we just... We had to pick one. Huh, so this is the thing? This is the thing. It's kind of our son. We brought him into this world. Well, you helped. This kind of smells weird. Anyway. What are you do uh, what are we doing tonight? I don't know. We have Bay's car. Oh really? We should go to Donut Wolf. Oh yeah. I haven't been since I got back. I need some of those slammer cakes. They have pancakes now too for some reason. Oh, Hey, Captain Donut Wolf. They got pancakes now. Fine. Ride the chariot to Donatelle. Oh. Legends. And that's all the people I've kissed. That's two people, kinda. One and a half. Whatever. Like, your average is any better. Angus, you've been really quiet. Sorry. You okay? We're gonna get pancakes! Hey, Angus? Angus, hey. Gonna get them flapjacks? Angus! Paging Dr. Jackson. Dr. Flap Jackson. Please report to my belly. 
Okay, yes, pancakes. Dude, dude. Oh no, god damn it. Whoa, did we get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No, Donut Wolf! May. Angus is not happy. We'll get there. We'll push the car. Alright. Y'all stay in here. Because it's a flat, you don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? You just don't. It messes up the wheel or something. How do you know so much about cars? We can fix it! With what? We're gonna get some sticks? Yeah, that's silly. No, I mean, people fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do when they have a goddamn tire. Guys, why are you being such a dick? Why am I the one that has to be the responsible one? Guys, what, May? Don't yell at May. Ugh, I'm gonna go wander. Fine. Fine. Okay. Jeez. Aw, oh, they're all fighting. So what are we doing? May, I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We could call someone? Oh, do we suddenly carry phones because there's magically signal now? In this piece of shit town? Jeez. Okay, well. Let's go look around. Hey, dingus. What? There's a spare tire back here. Oh, nice. That's one good thing. Anyone know how to, like, do the tire? Yeah. Can I help? No. Dude. May, you're not a bad person, but I do not trust you with any part of this process. Jeez, man. Jeez. Angus is having a rough day. I thought that we were closer friends. Too bad you didn't get partially eaten by a shark. Too bad you didn't get... <laughs> get serial killed. Too bad you didn't start doing drugs and then died from drugs. We tried weed a while back. Too bad you didn't OD and die from it. Are, are you okay? Are you two done? <laughs> Finally here. Yep. Aw, yeah. That wolf of the donut. Ow. Yep. Man, let me just say, if I lent my car to a friend and it came back with a busted tire, I'd be so pissed. <laughs> I'd be so mad. <laughs> Welcome to the Donut uh, donut Wolf, home of the Slammer Cake, and now featuring pancakes with special Halloween made... Halloween... Halloween made... Halloween made maple syrup. How would you like to ride the chariot today? Hello, sir. Mighty fine donuts you got there. Thank you, ma'am. We'll take half a dozen donuts, dude. We should get a chariot wheels. We got chariot wheels last time. I want slammer cakes. Uh, actually, we're out of slammer cakes. What? How can you be out of slammer cakes? That's like half the reason to come here. Dude, just pick something. Okay, we'll take half a dozen chariot wheels. Would you like them with eternity sauce? No. All right, all right, I'll take... Let's take six doom nuts. Are those new? Limited edition, ma'am. Well, they're about to be even more limited. And no eternity sauce. Last time I had that, I stayed up all night digging a hole in our backyard. They found me asleep in the morning at the bottom of the hole. Yes, ma'am. Are we eating here? I guess, whatever. Um, yeah, let's eat here. Fine, I'm gonna go find a seat. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. This is fun. <laughs> Poor Greg. Greg's just like along for the ride and everyone's fighting. Greg's just like trying to make the best of it. This isn't fun. This blows. Why are things weird? Why doesn't this feel good? Everything's stupid. I'm gonna break something. Oh 
Oh shit. Oh, it's- I get it. It's paper towels. <laughs> Oh my god. May, stop, I hate it. Oh, May, why? <laughs> oh no. Oh, we're clogging the toilet. Oh no. We're like doing serious property damage. Dude, stop, what the hell? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Okay, fine. That was a dumb question. Okay, why are you doing this? Do I need a reason? Yeah, I kind of think you do. Since when? What are you even doing in here? Getting you. I can find my way out myself. Fine. 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 Kind of a weird question, but... Did you go before you decided to trash the bathroom, or... God, Greg, I didn't even have to go. Okay, jeez. I do now. We have a table for when you're done. Leave. Right, okay. I'm glad that Greg at least disapproved of us trashing the bathroom. Okay, I've got a story. <laughs> I've got a story before we sit down. Uh, when I worked a retail, uh, re when I was working at my last job, which was a retail job, um, there we shared a restroom with a neighboring store um, that was like an eyeglasses shop. Um, and they did like appointments and stuff. They had a doctor there or whatever. You could like go in, get your appointment done and get your prescription then leave. And um, I had heard from customers in my store that the place next door was very rude. I had never been in there. Um, it was a very expensive store for one thing. Um, but one time we were working our normal shift and it was a busy day. It was like a Saturday. And uh, went out to the bathroom and it was trashed. And there were like two restrooms next to each other. So one was ours and one was the neighboring stores. Someone like had pulled out the, the thing in the back of the toilet so it wouldn't flush and it wouldn't fill. Um, and then they peed like on all the walls and the floor and like all over the toilet. Like it was disgusting. And I like went in there and I was like, I don't get paid enough to deal with that. And so I like left and I went to my manager and I was like, someone trashed the bathroom. And she's just like, all right, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Puts on like the hazmat stuff, you know, to go and wash it down. I was never asked to deal with it, but I definitely didn't want to. So that was a blessing. But oh my God, I was like, how can you get so mad that you trash a bathroom like that? Like, really? Not cool, not cool. Don't, don't punish people because you had a bad experience, you know? So. How are you guys doing? Anything new? Other than, you know, all the stuff that's been happening. Ghosts and stuff. Yep, it's pretty new. Hey, Angus, how'd you get Bay's car for tonight? She was going to go to a party out of town, but I guess she lost her nerve. Oh, and Greg and I were supposed to do something. This is something. Oh, Angus is pissed that they were going to have, like, a special date and then didn't. That's what it seems like. Let's eat. Yes, let's please eat. Woohoo! Oh, God. If God even exists, these donuts. 
You're not religious, right, Angus? No. Have donuts ever made you think twice? No. <laughs> I want this one in the middle. Give me this one. So how's uh, our son working out? He's in our living room. He sure is. Pretty great. Yep. Which one do we want next? What's this one? <gasps> it's a snake. I went apple picking earlier today. I forget if I mentioned that. I think I did. But I got apple cider donuts, like the fresh apple cider donuts. And oh my god. I've got another one. I'm gonna eat it after stream. I'm so excited. Greg, you're awful quiet. Just eating. You've never had a problem talking and eating at the same time. Man, they're really just, they're really fighting, huh? Let's go with this one. Oh, donut sick already. It smells, dude. Donut wolf? The robot thing. I thought you'd like it. I smell and you like me. Yeah, to both of those things. Greg spent a lot of time and effort on that robot because he thought you'd love it. No, he did it because it was fun, no matter what could happen. Jeez. Yeah, sure. Oh, feeling woozy. Angus, you're being rude. I'm being rude? We're trying to get out of here. Both working our asses off. And you come waltzing back into town. And suddenly Greg is breaking into grocery stores? Abandoned ones. And like stealing car batteries? Abandoned ones. And messing up our already crappy apartment. Hey, dude, come on. Wait, how is any of this my fault? Whatever, I'm eating. This one looks like a Pokeball. Ugh. Oh, cripes. Too bad we trashed the bathroom. Oh, sweet cripes, I'm falling into this guy. What? Ugh. It was all weird colored. Puke usually isn't that color. It was like multiple colors. You okay, May? Yeah, no. Ugh. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. I'm really mad at you two. Why? I hate awkward silences and like ruining your lives or something? Just tell me if I am instead of whatever this is. Am I, like, making things weird, Greg? No. Kinda? Um, so... Angus, I'll take this. Thanks, hon. Right, re uh, May, remember my uncle? Sheep farm out past the brittle... Uh, out by the interstate? Yeah, kinda. When I was, like, eight, my parents got sick of me. And made me spend, like, a month there in the summer. And I spent the whole time following him around. Sheep are nice. I got to pet one once. Sheep are real dumb, is what they are. One afternoon before dinner, my uncle left me by the pen. And for some reason, I opened the gate. What did they do? So a bunch of the sheep basically immediately bolted. And I chased after, being all, You dumbass sheep! You tried, bug. Ran across the field and into the woods, and there was a really steep hill that went down to the interstate. Oh, oh no. What happened? Four got splattered by a semi-truck. Uh, some ran back up the hill, but three made it over the median and across to the other side, and they just stopped. And I got to the bottom of the hill by the road, which was like covered in sheep guts and parts. Ugh. And we just looked at each other from across the interstate. Me waving my hands, two ran back, got hit by another truck. Did the trucks stop? They totally didn't. That's probably illegal. But the other one 
ran down the hill on the other side into the woods, and no one ever saw him again. Jeez, dude. Your tattoo. What happened after that? I mean, I ran back to the farm, crying. My uncle hit me a bunch. No. Yeah. There was some illegal stuff. Uh, and they moved away not long after. That's awful for you, poor sheep. But if I was in their position, I'd have run too. And I want to be the one that got away. And I want Angus to come with me. Like, I like failed those sheep. Just like, you know, everything else has failed us. That's a bit. No one even denies it. No one even tries to talk you out of leaving here. And yeah, being the only queer people in town sucks. Hey, I'm here. You're al you already left once, but I'm back. I can't stay. We can't stay. I guess. And I love Angus. I love both of you. Obviously in different ways. Thanks for clarifying. We have a plan and we're working our asses off to make it happen. Two guys, full time, minimum wage. I have to grow up a bit. I did grow up a bit. May, you have to let me change. Sorry I was rude earlier. It's okay. Remember the time we almost burned down the school? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Fireworks, student council poster, just whoosh. God, that was a good night. Soaked from the sprinklers, running through the parking lot, laughing our asses off. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That was maybe the best night of my entire life. It's one of the all-time greats. Kids still talk about it. That night lives on, man. Well, we can at least be legends. Forever. Well, tonight was a complete bust. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing, Angus. I'm sorry, too. It's cool. And I have an idea. Oh, yeah? You two up for one more big crime? You can come this time, Angus. Do a crime with us. I... Okay. Ah, oh, Captain, Captain Colonel! Let's go. Where are we going? What are we doing? Oof. Thing is gonna really freak some kids out. Yeah, dude. They're gonna tell stories about this thing. They'll never know what it is or how it got here. You guys sure you're okay with it? Yeah, this is a good home for it. Leave it for the kids. Let let it be a legend. Huh, yeah. Too bad it didn't fall on you. Too bad you <laughs> too bad you didn't get your arm caught in the gears. Too bad both of you didn't get trapped in the car after a wreck and explode all over the road and have to be scraped up with a snow shovel. Nice. Decent, Captain. <laughs> Alright, well, moving on. Yep. Goodbye. Oh man, just saying a casual goodbye to your childhood adventures. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where to even start? It's just, I've been having these dreams and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares. That feeling really real and I think some something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. Where, where is it all going? What's even, what even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, everyone is on the way somewhere else and I had that big fight with mom kitten it's okay and that's not even counting the money problems yeah money problems make everything worse I know it and I can't do anything about it I don't even know if I could hold down a job and how am I ever going to survive and and shh kitten take a breath okay 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 
Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. Malloy! Garbo! Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is! Why, Garbo? Do you think there's someone up there watching you? Hey, I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. These are the big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Molloy, but it, it would be... A whopper. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. <laughs> the show is so goofy. It's like goofy in a way that's like, like, uh-huh, uh, okay. It, it like, it triggers the pun reaction in me, but they're not really puns. Hey, Bay, you up? Yes, ma'am. What's up? Nothing. A little sick from Donut Wolf. Yeah, that's why I don't go there. It's so good. How can it be so good and, like, mean to you? It's a wild world, May. Anyway, I puked and then we dropped a robot in the woods. Okay, I'm too sleepy to decipher that. Go to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Hey, man. Hey, man. Sorry about, like, everything. Are we still apologizing? Can we be past that part? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, night do- uh, duder. Night. Bedtime? Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Away message. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me. You mess with all of us. Going to see blank tones next week. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till the uh, till I die, die, die. Hello, May. Pickaxe. At it. Me. You know the drill. Let's hang out with May. I want to give Greg and uh, Angus some space. We still don't have a way to get into that safe either in the crawl space, so maybe try to figure that out. Oh god, what do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well? I wanted to let you know, we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested, in this, is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. Medium build. Uh, and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa, that means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? No, it, it wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff is going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. 
We should be nicer to to aunt to our aunt. Hey, Summers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just tired. Got a headache. Why are you running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. You want to hear a new poem? Ah, uh, maybe another time. Cool. Oh, goodbye, Harvey. Maybe he'll come back later. I wonder if we can, um... Do anything at this pretzel shop yet. I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 May. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel, no movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. What? Wait, which way do I move? I am the bandit queen. I knew that was going to be possible at some point. I'm just shocked that we didn't take it for ourselves. Holy shit. Dude, someone hecked up the dudes. Who did this? Why did they do it? Uh, we don't want to go to the Snack Falcon. Let's check in with May first, see if we can hang out with May. May! Whoa! Whoa! Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess, sure. Tired, had a headache for a few days. You should go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel like resting in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. And my skull is going to explode. Yeah, so then, not good. Nope. Huh. Do you still want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Oh, cool, we still can. Hell yeah. The graveyard. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know, good spooky. Get really sad because it's not here year round. I always loved that, like, early morning fog over the water. Well, there's the statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So, we wait here? Yeah. And the ghost shows up? This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. 
Hey, I'm along for the ride. You know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now and no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse out of spite or profit. Oh, jeez. I mean, like, skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. All right. So, we'll have a spook off. I'll say something and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton outside. A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling. And he's from the bank. <laughs> oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. My god, Beatrice. What are we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb, let's go. Fireflies? Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Yeah, totally, no problem. Sorry, sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay, it happens. Cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class at school. It's like something- Oh, hey, Harvey. Hey. Harvey, if you put both of your paws up on my desk while I'm sitting here, you're gonna get picked up. This is Harvey. He says hi. He's staring at the grass. Like, the, the grass is right there, and he's like, I want it. It's mine. Give it to me. Oh, relax. I don't know if the mic picked that up. There you go. Now you can see Harvey. Harvey, you were trying to jump up my on my desk while I'm right here. So this is this is the result. Just so you know. It's like something I actually know about. Cool, I'll meet you back up here then. Let's uh, check out a grave or three. I don't know if we're supposed to go to the same one or if we're supposed to go to a different one. It sounded like Beatrice wanted to be alone. Hey, hey. Is this? Yep. Oh. Yep. Alright, let's leave her be. Alright, go ahead, Harvey. It's alright. Oh. <laughs> Poor guy. But it won't let me go up here. No. Okay. So I can only go to the left. Rose, age 95. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech things was horses. She had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like, any horse you could think of. She saw us from horses to the internet horses. Decent run. Taken by the flu, 14 years old. Catherine Fish. Aw, dang. Lived like 14 years. Poor family. Okay, I'm just sad now. Uh, everybody get vaccinated. The flu is not good. Hey. Even in. Even in. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have ya. Can we talk, uh, shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you dig the graves with a shovel? 
do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you. Hard. Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. <laughs> grave guy. Career idea, grave digger. Brad Boyson. Oh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna guess... He loved his bike. He loved it so hard. He smooched it. So right. Jeez, bae. How long does this mom visit take? TikTok, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crap, I am a jerk. Yeah, jeez, May. Why don't we go back and check? Because we looked at three graves. Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried about that? You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That's what- <laughs> that's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill, so I was worried. Like you're worried the ground's gonna cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make those where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood, and yet here we are. Okay, are you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh, that's spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Ha, now we can go up. Keep going. Oh, okay. I thought I had to do some jumping. Oh! Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Haha. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? Oh, uh, yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? Okay, so we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions truthfully. What? You may pass into the realm of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question, have you ever done it? <laughs> Have you ever done it? it? You can you can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. Uh, sure. Yes. It was fantastic. Really? No, very much lying. Oh, okay. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before eleventh grade. Really? How did I not know this? It was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do math stuff. And camp stuff. Apparently have lots of sex? It, it wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. This is boring. Next question! She is fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date? Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna have to, like, watch wrestling? I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl, but they'd have to be, like, grr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. <laughs> So you're gonna wrestle this person. Yes, they'd be super cool and tough. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. 
and then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet, I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer! Alright, one time I farted in front of the class. Uh, that's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. You go. Uh, oh, uh, god. One time in college, there was a cute girl I saw at the cafeteria, like, a few times a week. I guess our schedules lined up or something? Which was weird about college, it's like, a little town. Cut to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so I got the nerve to talk to her, and I followed her out into the hallway. And I don't know why, but I shouted, HEY! She turned around, and, and all I could do was wave? Oof. This is funny. And, 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 and then I, and then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool. But I ran into this door frame right behind me, and it hurt, so I staggered back, and uh, I, I fell into the trash outside the, the trash can outside the cafeteria. My face went into this trash spaghetti. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I, like, flailed until the trash tipped over, and I got up, and the girl had... She'd watched all of it. And, tr and I tried to give her a smile like I'd somehow meant to do that. But it turns out I'd swallowed some of the trash spaghetti, and, oh god, I puked all over myself. <laughs> oh, poor May. <laughs> no wonder you came home. Oh, shut up. Oh, poor May. Wow, that's messed up. I'm gonna throw up. Thanks for nothing. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. All right, let's pass up already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. Oh, God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha. <laughs> ha uh, I hate everything now. Forget it. Let's go. Okay, let me fix my camera real quick. It's bugging me. That's better. Uh, also, I'm gonna I'm gonna stir my crock pot. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. It doesn't, like, the crock pot doesn't have that much in it, and so I'm, like, worried about it burning on the bottom, so I'm just, like, making sure to turn it pretty frequently. The crock pot is, is probably too big for what I'm using it for, but it's either going to be really tasty or not. We'll find out. Uh, oh, right, I have to re... There we go. Click on the game. So, like, ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if you believe in them, but... Yeah? So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams, because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? Uh, yes? It's hard to, like, recognize anyone, but you can get a sense of people. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw her. Really? As far as I can tell. I just want to know she's somewhere. And, okay. She's somewhere, Bay. And, okay. Thanks. I don't know if you're just lying or if you dreamt it or whatever. But even if you just made all that up, it was nice of you. Alright, anyways. So, the bad news is that we're locked out. Uh, by that big-ass gate. Uh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard? to keep people like you out and stop whatever you're probably going to do. Huh. Yeah, well, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. 
Go do your thing. My thing? Yeah, you're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Aw, oh, jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost! I'm just the driver! Fine. Hang out. I'll be back. Ha! Did it! I guess I can't open the gate. There's no way I'm gonna leave Bay behind. Ugh, Beatrice, just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Okay, so we do have to break it open. Okay, I wasn't sure how. Probably this tree. No, I wanna jump on the tree branch. Get up on the tree. Oh, I can. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, we did it. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. Don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what do we do here? Uh, I guess I'm just gonna look around for ghosts? Uh, don't make it this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had tone. Tone so stowed. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No bay. You'd know, I'd say. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Grapes? Wow. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine being the horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Or imagine the horse-sized coffin. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is... Is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash his shit up. Whoa, whoa, dude, hold up, no. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Okay, that didn't sound right. Holy shit, holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that? Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not gonna open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. Bay, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. We're gonna... We got more than a Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Oh, jeez, God. Are... are we not doing this? Are... We are not doing this, we are leaving. Aren't you kinda curious, at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it, I'm standing here. We're gonna bust open a grave? Oh my god. Okay. 
Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. So what, foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. No, we're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like rave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shush. What? There's someone watching us back there. Where? I don't see him. Oh god. I don't know where they went. Just like, out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know. But we need to leave now. But it could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine. Jeez. <gasps> ah, don't chase after us. Well, that was weird. Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Do you see ghosts? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine. But he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was run ruining his graveyard. Do you- How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Ah, oh, I saw the effing ghost. Why does no- What? Ah, uh, May, what's wrong? Ah! Holy crap. Uh, uh, my head. Jeez. Uh, let's get to the car. I've got migraine pills and we can get you home. No! I need to talk to everyone tonight. Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. I need everyone. Stop talking. Get in the car. Thanks for, like, coming. Uh, again, we live here. You're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. <laughs> so, like, do you have any idea of what's going on? There's a ghost following me. There's a ghost that's in my head. Or I have no idea. Everyone's seen it. Everyone's been like, I see a guy. It might not be a ghost, but we see something. So, there's a ghost following me. Like, it keeps showing up when we go out to investigate it. Or all those times it could have just been a random person? No, I can, like, feel it in my head. Why do you think I freaked out earlier? I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are, like, 50 better explanations for all this. Like what? Like you have a sudden stress migraine so that you saw something that freaked you out. And that makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, though you've gone through a lot of life changes recently, and, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm going to go up into the woods. I know this thing is t um, this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna go hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyways. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's buck. We're outlaws. Thank you for believing in me. Mostly, I just don't want you weeping up there alone at night. <laughs> Close enough. All right, let's hunt some ghosts. Oh, that's nice. Everybody's sticking around. Haven't been on a hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright. I got work in the morning. Let's catch us a ghost. Have I never been back up here? 
fences work? Nah, people are up here all the time. I came in when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What is it, Bay? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. I like Bay. I feel like... I don't know. Of... Of all the characters here, I feel like Bay is... Sorry, there's like a hair that's like itching. <laughs> Um, uh, I feel like Bay has the most interesting character relationship with May. Like, we weren't friends at first, and then we became friends, which I, I just think is kind of cool. Wow. Got to put up all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get it, all of this back up here? Huh. What's up? Nothing. Just like, all this old, old stuff out here. It's here every night, when you go to sleep. So? It's out here, in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. Hey, dude, May. I'm fine. We should go back, this is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo. Fun. I cannot jump. We can only march. What the? Huh? Oh my god. No, no! Oh hell, he's awake already. Anyone got juice? No, no, guys! Oh hell. Guys, guys, wait! Lurf, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew at the moment you screwed this whole thing up. And it wasn't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake! I owned up to it! Lurf, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ugh, his legs are stuck. It wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd called me, Lurv. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but I got, I got family. Lurf, don't insult us. You know you gotta worry about, you know you don't gotta worry about Jeannie and the girls. They'll be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Ah, oh, hell. Dave, Rick, Beanie, you guys, you know me. All right, Dave, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, Lurv. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you'd stop laying a guilt trip on us. No, 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 no. Hold still. No! Ah! Hold still. This will go easier if... Ah! All right, he's free. Lerv, oh god. Lerv, ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself in more anguish and... Oh god. Ah, oh, hell. Get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy. Oh god, his bone's sticking out. <gasps> what the? Shit. May? May Broski? Run! <laughs> What did we stumble on? Oh shit. What the fuck? Some sort of murder cult? Keep running! Jump! This 
Stop getting closer. Not okay. The fuck? What the fuck? What's going on? I swear to God, if it says like day four. Part four, the end of everything. Nice. Nice. Yep. Dude, you're better at this than I am. I'm not good at, like, anything. I still play a lot. Got lots of old games at home. Collect them. Huh, I've never been over to your place. I don't take anyone there. Secret? Live in a tree. I'd believe that. But wait! What? Weren't they all there with us? Okay, well... Oh my god, we're playing as Greg. So is she dead? No idea, no response from her parents. That's bad. It's not great. Jeez. I don't see the dude. He was outside in my building last night, late. Did you call the cops? Yeah, I called. They sent someone by, he was gone. Also, it's not illegal to stand on the street. Okay, so, got brownies, got sodas. Hey, Captain. Hey, Bug. You making, like, three dinners at once? Brownies are in the oven. Thinking about making that lasagna that we forgot about. We have lasagna? Yeah, way back in the back. I thought that was, like, the wall. Nope. Hey, hun, you should maybe go sleep or something? You barely sat down the past 24 hours. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. So someone's gotta take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. This. This stuff I'm doing? This helps me. Okay, that's cool. Are you gonna make th you're gonna make it through this. We are gonna make it through this. Love you. Love you. Okay, so May is missing. Is what I've gathered. I could use like five naps. I have good naps in one nap bucket. Jump in. That sounds pretty nice. I used to skate. I wasn't super good at it. I can skate. I'm a skater. Skate and destroy. Use my powers for good. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Wait, everybody shut up. Is that a knock at the door? What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh, God, did we get thrown into a pit? Poor May. Is anyone even looking for her? Where even are we? Are we just walking the whole way back to town? I guess we'd have to. But like, holy shit. 
What's with all the mailboxes with no houses? Is there a sinkhole or something? At least May is alive. Maybe not for long. Harvey, this game's spooky! Spooky game! God is here in this room, I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May? That'd be nice. I'll say something. May Broski has always been a menace, and I called the police on her more than once. Hope she wakes up and learns a lesson, that's all I gotta say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out exactly what happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night, down at the end of Center Ave, and someone was out there hunting illegally, and they got shot at. And May fell, and must have fallen off a million times. All it takes is one landing the wrong time, and... Oh. Well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it, if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... I was gonna say, there's no way we're not in a hospital, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. What happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today. Le leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor! <laughs> oh my god, Harvey's doing something really cute. I wish I could show you. I've got, over on the other side of this room, I've got a little cat tree. And, um... He's reaching over the edge of the cat tree to a table, and both of his paws are just perched up on the table. I'll have to post it in my Discord, because I can't turn my camera that far. That side of my room is messy, and I don't, I don't want to turn my camera that far. Harvey! Yeah, look at me, bud. Look up here. Good boy. If you, uh... If you would like to see the picture later tonight exclamation point discord and I'll post it there the house is gone May oh thank god what did you say May it's dead what's dead honey May honey everything what is going on where are we what is happening Harvey what's going on Harvey please Uh What the heck? Can we go back into the house? What's going on? Are we the ghost? Crap. Greg? Holy crap, May. It's May! Holy shit, dude! I thought you were gonna be dead! Not yet. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she was just, like, out wandering out of her house? So she just, like, wandered out of her house? 
Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere. I sure hope she's alright. Both of you, shush. So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the Nyway now, since possibilities closed down. Highway. From out by the highway now that possibilities closed down. Oh my god, all these pun names are mixing me up. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, they. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe, I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. Oh, no. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were, like, in a coma. Did you die? Nah, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. No more pizza for us. I had this dream, or, like, a vision. Or I time-traveled. I don't know. I'm, like, in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. Bay is there? Bay is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have Bay drive you home. I will. May? I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you too, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, and there isn't anything in there. So I'd, like, puke out my actual guts. Alright. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. What is going on? Why are we so sick? Did, like... Did we're no is no one talking about this like cult that we saw? Did that actually happen? Or did it not? Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was like really worried. You were correct. To worry. It was bad. Yeah, don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? What even was that game? Werewolf, Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played that at Casey's house when I was, like, years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. I'm gonna wander around your apartment. That's what it's here for. What's up, bud? Come here. Come on up. Come on, Harvey. He's looking at it. He's uncertain. Is there a signal here? Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. I got, like, a mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is it with Possum Springs and no signal? Eh, out here in the hills, and we're not big enough to get the towers or something. Huh. Hey. Yeah? If we're all still awake or whatever, we should, like, maybe hang out more? I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Eh. I'll take eh. Alright, May, let's put you to bed. Can we all hit the sack? Sure, dude. Hey, everybody go to bed now. Holy crap. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe to leave? Uh, none of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. 
Bye, germ. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then, you said she went all crazy. But, like, that's not a, really a reason, I guess? I was playing that game where you, like, dated ghosts. I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. Um, Alistair or something like that? <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it, like, 24-7 until this one afternoon and suddenly, like, something broke. It was just, like, pixels. Your computer broke? No, like, reality broke. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. And they never existed and they never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And I was like rationalizing, like dumped out of the screen and into real life. I went outside uh, and the tree out front, I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing up and eating and just like being there. Like all this stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and it was just shapes. Like just, just like the moving of stuff. And I cried because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. I, what could I have said? This all happened, like, the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. And when I stepped up, and when Andy stepped up and it was like, and he was just shapes too, just lines someone wrote, just like nothing in there. I was so scared and angry. I just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. God, I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he wondered why. Like, what he'd done. It was, he was probably an asshole. No, dude, I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then you had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling... Dr. Hank messed up one of my tooth feeling, fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does. Which I guess is an, un understandable because he does, like, everything. I meant to ask you, did that journal shit, did it actually work? Kinda? Sorta? It helps me, like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. When I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue. Like, all rusty and metal. And it was these shapes. He was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. I finally got up the courage to leave and I came home where everything was. Where every everyone I knew and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head in my life. Dude, you should have called me. We could have rescued you. You would have, like, kidnapped you. I couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room, in bed. That's, that's horrible, dude. I thought when I came home, I just felt so safe here, and everything made sense for a few days. And then all this, and... Dude, shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. May's having a rough time. Alright, I think here is a good place to stop for tonight. I'm really curious to see where this goes, though. Um, but 
I am I am getting tired and I want to grab some food and check on my food that I'm making. So let's see. Uh, if you stick around for the raid, you'll get extra channel points, which you can use to make me play Getting Over It or do future makeup streams. Seamus, thanks for the lurk. We're just about to raid, but let's see who's online. Let me pull up my... Um, my followers list. 